Okay, so our next question is, if there is a default judgment against me from months ago, what can I do if I was never served? So when your a lawsuit's filed against you, you have to be served the papers. And if you're not served the papers, and we'll talk about what that means in just a second, but if you're not served the papers, then really that judgment's not going to be any good against you. You can get it what's called vacated or the judge will say it's void. It's like it never happened because you have a constitutional right to actually get the lawsuit so you can defend yourself. Now, what does it mean uh, for a default judgment? Well, if you don't answer after you've been served, so you get served, you don't do anything, 14 days, small claims, 14 days, district court, 30 days, circuit court, then the judge will right in there. All right, you lose. Well, what if you find out about this when there's a lien on your house or your bank account gets wiped out, your wages get garnished? You say, I didn't know anything about this lawsuit. Well, if it's if you knew about it and you just made a mistake and didn't respond, you have a very limited amount of time to challenge that default judgment. But if you were never served, there really is no time limit. And let me illustrate this way. Uh, I sue Bank of America a lot. I sue Equifax, collection companies all the time. What if I sue Bank of America, I file it in court and I say, okay, court, I'll, I'll take care of serving Bank of America. But instead of actually serving them, I just put on my bookshelf over here. Well, does Bank of America going to respond to that? No, because they don't know anything about it. So how would they respond to it? So then I go, well, hey, I served them. The period of time goes by. Now I want a default judgment. Well, that would be unfair to Bank of America. Well, it's unfair if Bank of America, Capital One, National Collegiate Student Loan Trust, Midland Funding Portfolio, whoever it is, if they sue us and we have not been served, then that is unfair and it's unconstitutional. So here's the trick is if they say, hey, you've been served. Sorry, I dropped my paper here. This will be our prop here. So you've been served with lawsuit, but you go, I, I really haven't been served with it. Well, then you attack that service. So first, let's talk about what does it mean to be served? I mean, you physically handed the paper. That could be anywhere, in a plane, in a movie theater, at your house, at your work, on the beach. It doesn't matter. Physically handed it, you're served. But what if you don't get it physically handed to you? Well, it could come by certified mail. And as long as the rules are followed, then you're served. You know, you sign for the certified mail. But here's a more common thing. They say that they served you personally. Uh, so let, let me give you an example. I, I had a guy that was supposedly served, I want to say like five years ago. And it was in Birmingham. They said, hey, we served you in Birmingham. He goes, John, I was never served in Birmingham. And so we look at the paper and we say, okay, it says, I forget the day, I'm just going to make this up, you know, April the 10th at 2.33 p.m. Like, well, where were you April the 10th, 2.33 p.m., you know, 2010? And so we had him go through his emails, check with his wife, look at his pay records. He was working in Texas. He had pay stubs from Texas. Well, it's kind of hard to be in Texas working and yet be here in Alabama being served. But, you know, arguably he jumps on a plane, lands in Birmingham, they serve him in Birmingham, then he flies right back to his job. Kind of crazy, but okay, it's possible. So we so said, go through your receipts, go through your credit card. We found where he had bought gas. So I, I forget the exact details, but like his shift was 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. They said he was served at 4 p.m. and he was buying gas in Dallas, Texas at 4.01 p.m. And he worked till 3. Yeah, you, you can't really get to Birmingham and get back in time. So you just show that you weren't really served. Maybe you're in ICU. Maybe you're traveling out of town. Maybe you were in court. Maybe you were in surgery whatever it is show that that was not you 
Now, sometimes it's obvious. You look at the paper and they'll say, you know, I serve John Watts. Uh, he's redhead, five foot two, 475 pounds. Well, I'm six foot, about 170. I don't have red hair. I think I have brown hair. My kids say I have gray hair. I don't know. Maybe I do. But I like to think it's brown. Anyway, it's not red. Okay. So I can look at that and say, well, wait a minute. That, that wasn't me. Here's the most common one, though. It's they take it to your house and they leave it with somebody. And they say, aha, you've been served now. Well, what does the law say? Generally, the law says if they give the paper to somebody that lives in my house, an adult who lives with me, then I've been served, even if that adult doesn't give it to me. But what that means is your 16-year-old kid is not an adult. Your cousin that's staying with you for a weekend doesn't live there. Uh, somebody doing work on your house doesn't live there. They might take the papers in the sheriff's deputy or the process server, somebody like Van Slam, whoever it may be. They may think they're really giving it somebody that lives there, but if they don't really live there and they're not an adult, it doesn't matter. It's bad service. So if you were never served, there is no time limit to undo that judgment. Remember my example, of, let's say I, I supposedly serve Bank of America, but I really don't. I get a $500 million judgment against them. Yeah, well, they can challenge that at any time because they were not served. Same thing with you. So the, going back to this question, uh, if I get this default judgment, what do I do? Well, you file a motion. Remember, a motion is just a written piece of paper where you're asking court to do something. So the motion, you, you can handwrite, you can type it. Uh, you know, if you go to a lawyer, we type our stuff. But you'd say, hey, uh, I want this judgment undone. It's like I want it torn up because I was never served. And here's my proof. And you might use medical records, travel things. You'd use affidavits, all sorts of things you would use to prove you were really not served in this lawsuit. And if you're successful, then the judgment gets thrown away. It doesn't make the lawsuit go away because now I have to serve you. So normally by coming into court, the judge say, okay, well, now you're served. So I, your answer, 14 days, small claims, 14 days, district court, 30 days, circuit court. But it gets rid of the judgment, gets rid of the garnishment, keeps them from selling your house in a uh, sheriff's sale, putting a lien on your house, so very valuable to get rid of a default judgment.